Man, it's spring training. It's just so awesome. Albuquerque Isotopes here in Scottsdale. We get to catch up on some of our favorite former players. Ryan McMahon's right here. And this blows me away, Ryan, because it just feels like the other day when you get called up to, to AAA for the first time. I remember it was June. Yeah. And it was like, oh, there's like this top prospect. You know, I thought he was going to be here last year, but now he's here this year. What's the deal with this guy? PCL Player of the Month, the first month. I remember you went wild in the Green Chili Cheeseburger game, like yeah. two homers, seven RBIs. Now I ask guys, like, who, who do you look up to? And they're like, Ryan McMahon. <laughs> Dude, like, when, like, you're a veteran now. Like, does yeah. it hit you that you're the veteran now? Uh, it happens quick, man. Um, I still feel like that same kid that came through there and just trying to play good baseball, man. But uh, we got a lot of topes up, the, up in the big leagues now. Yeah, yeah, you sure do. Who, when you first got to the big leagues, who did something that just helped make you feel welcome as, as you're first trying to get your sea legs in the major leagues. Yeah, uh, Ian Desmond was really cool to me. Uh, Daniel Murphy helped me a lot, kind of maturing wise. Um, and I think I think it's important for guys to to reach out to the new guys and uh, make them feel welcome. And because of that, like, what do you do? Do you just let it come naturally? Do you try to like joke with guys? Like, wh what do you do when you see Coco Montez, when you see Alan Trejo, when you see you know Zach Veen to yeah. try to make them feel welcome now? Honestly, just just talk to them, man. Uh, just know you got their back. Uh, they're part of the team, and I think that's the biggest thing. Just making guys feel welcome and, and let them know they're a part of the team. You know, one of the things that that I think is fascinating about your journey is that like you had to repeat double A, right? Yeah. You got sent you got sent down, and now you got to like deal with that. And I'm wondering how. It's not that it was a failure, but you plateaued a bit, and how that changes your perspective on what you do in the big leagues now. Yeah, definitely. Man. I think it's just all part of it, right? Uh, there's learning experiences, gives you good perspective. Uh, this game's hard, so you got to take your bumps with it, and uh, you just got to be thankful for every day. When you say it's hard, man, it's how do you – like you want to be you want to be happy when you do things because it's hard because it's hard to succeed. Yeah. Where's your balance between like I can't beat myself up too much, but at the same time, we got to perform in the big leagues here. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it definitely is a balancing act. Uh, I don't think you get too high and you can't get too low. Uh, I think it's about staying in the middle, coming in every day, and just doing what you know you can do and uh, sticking with your routine. When I say Albuquerque and Isotopes Park, what comes to mind right away? Uh, green chili. Green chili? Right chili? away, right, right away, man. Uh, on what? On, on what food? Um, I used to go to, I think it was called Taco Cabana. Yeah. I get a breakfast burrito over there and they'd put a uh, green chili on it. Okay. What about baseball at Albuquerque? Isotopes Park. What do you remember? What, like what stands out the most? Oh man. What stands out? Dude, I had so many good friends on that team. So for me personally, I think about the relationships, the people I had there, the Glen Allen Hills, uh, stuff like that. And obviously the fans were great. Uh, they welcomed all of us and, and we're there every night. G Hill, man, the the, the, the hitting whisperer. Oh, yeah. Like, like the oh, man, yeah. a few words, but like he makes them count. I still remember right. that green chili cheeseburger game, right? Oh, yeah. It was like 15 to 14, ninth inning. I remember you hit this bomb to straightaway center that cut it yeah. to one. I was like, oh my God, are they going to come back? And I was like, okay, this kid's legit. Yeah, okay. I didn't know <laughs> yeah. I see why I got drafted so high. No, yeah, that was fun, man. Uh, what was that? That was the Astros. That was the Grizzlies or yeah, something like yeah. that. Uh, yeah, good time, good game for us. Appreciate you remembering us and the time that you spent with us. Uh, keep making us proud. Always, man. Love the Topes. That's Ryan McMahon. Get ready for the season, April 4th. Come see us.